Next up, we'll hear from Brian Prophet, who is currently the president of the Durham Association of Educators. Thanks, Millie. Uh, my name is Brian Prophet. I'm an 11-year veteran high school history teacher uh, who's currently serving as the president of the Durham Association of Educators. And I'm here today actually because I think Pat McCrory is a smart man. I actually think that he believes and knows that my students need economic security, right? And yet, 25% of the kids in this state live in poverty, and he does nothing about it. I'm here, and I'm going to be marching in Raleigh on June 14th and June 15th because I believe that Pat McCrory understands that my students need clean air and water. I think that he knows that any living being needs quality natural resources available to throw, thrive and to grow in the ways that we are, are able to. And yet, the former executive of an energy company does nothing to meet our kids' needs and ensure that they have clean air and water. I'm gonna be marching to Raleigh on June 14th and 15th because I believe, I believe that Pat McCrory understands that our kids need healthcare. I think that he knows that every young person in this state deserves to be able to go to the doctor when they're sick, to be able to have preventative checkups on a regular basis, and to be able to, to, be able to go outside and play and go to school and do all the things that young people ought to be able to do if they have access to the resources they need. I think that he knows that. I'm, mar I'm marching to Raleigh on June 14th and June 15th because I believe that Pat McCrory knows that acts like HB2, which criminalize transgender and LGBTQ young people, I believe that he knows that the school to prison pipeline is a very real uh, factor in the lives of black and Latino youth in this state and poor youth in this state. And I believe that he knows, right, that immigration forces who raid our kids' communities and terrorize their families every single day is not good for kids. I believe that Pat McCrory understands and knows all of that. So I'm marching to Raleigh on June 14th and 15th because I know also that Pat McCrory knows that he's got a budget that is, that's got extra money in it. And I also am marching on June 14th and 15th because I don't think that this is going to be turned out. I don't think this is going to turn around overnight. But I think that Pat McCrory knows that he could take that surplus, that 700 extra 700 million dollars, and do something. I believe he knows that. So I'm marching to Raleigh on June 14th and 15th to demand a conversation with Pat McCrory. I'm marching to Raleigh on June 14th and 15th with students and parents and educators and community supporters from all over the state to have a sit-down meeting with Pat McCrory and demand that he use resources to give, the to give our students the more that they deserve.